Welcome back, everybody. We've got some more side missions. Well, one more side mission, technically, to do here. But first, I have to find it. Oh, I don't like this planet at all. Okay, this is the way to, like, vehicles and stuff. Do not like... Regret letting you keep those guns. You can't see, but I've got this like little wolfish grin on my face. Let's go over here. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my... real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance, discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. Interesting plan. I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. I have assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna... I mean, you can do this whole big long thing where you... Hi, buddy. Where you, like, talk to him and figure out his tells and shit. I'm just gonna tell him that she's doing that. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? First, I'm gonna talk to this guy. Who might you be? Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Taking a three martini lunch? You mean my loitering here? If only it were mere indolence. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. Really? I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Why didn't Analeus cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... Oh, what is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Violence against Mr. Analeus's thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll focus on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. 
The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? No guarantees. So yeah, that's actually part of the main quest. You need that. What sort of a to get out of here? You're the specter, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas? Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Military. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? Actually, I wanted to warn you. An agent of the Aramali Council hired me to break into your network. She gave me this. Oh, a cracking device. I appreciate your forthrightness, Shepard. Now that we know what to look for, our IT people can have a little fun with the Asari. We'll isolate their viruses and feed them false data. If you'll excuse me. Okay, now I'm gonna go get a bunch of renegade points by telling her that I actually spied on him. Do do. Any results? Everything went as planned. You should see results soon. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. That'll do nicely. I'll be going now. As will I. Good day, Spectre. Now, I suppose I probably should have done the big talky, dialogue-y thing so you guys could see it, but I've done it a number of times. It's just kind of putsy. Looking for stuff, looking for stuff. There's stuff here, I want it. This building is made out of corrugated cardboard. <laughs> These look like they could be stairs because everything's made out of cardboard here. But these are stairs, a little different. Don't know if there's actually anything up here. That guy. I'll talk to him in a second. Don't hang up. Elder brother? It's me. I'm on the very end. I can't talk long. This call is costing 10 credits a minute. It's real time from the traverse. Do you think it would be cheap? I need some information. There's an issue here with synthetic insights. The manager, Laura Key, he got caught with his toes wet. The office is closed by a pensions administrator. Uh, I need you to see what you can find out about. Are you ready for his name? Ronadril, Gan, Swa, Fosum, Karatin, Nar, EAD, Bell, and Elias. No, that's the administrator. The Hanshin administrator. Now, well, think about it. A Turian wouldn't risk getting his office closed. They don't compromise their team. That's drilled into the food camp. I think the administrator is using this keen fella to draw flies from his own clutch. Of course I could look it up myself. But do you think I'm likely to get any unfiltered data through Novaria's own network? That, and it would take forever for any out-system search results to get back here. Thank you, Elder Brother. I have to go. Yes. I'll speak to you soon. Interesting, interesting. Hey, look, Krogan. Beat it. Aw, that friendly Krogan nature. Security logs, unauthorized transmission. Not sure if you will receive this, Doctor, but it is imperative that you make your way to the safe location. Your history with our organization has been leaked. Your Base in the Newton system is no longer secure, I repeat. Make your way to the safe location immediately. Beow. Probably gave us another another side quest once we get back out into the real into the real world, I say, because we're in a fake world now. Now once we get back out into space, it's probably another mission. Okay, we're gonna go over here, I guess. Just call him the doorman. I'm sorry. The hotel is off limits to those without a name. Okay. Guess we're not gonna go over there then. Do, 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 do. 
there I guess worth a look always worth a look there's a big old rock so we're here boys How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Analeas is a Salarian. I enjoy him because I like Salarians. And you could tell by his name. Did you hear that other Salarian say his name before? It was ridiculously long. It's because they have really long names. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Back to my other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Okay. I've got a lot of money. Lorik Keen wants me to break into his own office. He says you're corrupt. Indeed. Surely you can see his story as a lie to cover his own crimes. You have any proof of that? I will soon enough. My security teams are seeing to the matter. As a small item of note, Mr. Keene has hidden away certain records that would greatly aid my investigation. If you happen to recover them, I would be in your debt. You understand me? I'm leaving. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. <laughs> oh, Slarians are cute. I think if I was any species, I would be a Slarian. <laughs> That's my husband coughing loudly beside me. I would be a Salarian. Not that I think I'm like super intelligent or anything, they're just, their personality seems a lot like mine. Maybe, yeah, I'd be like a Salarian or I'd be a human. It'd be very boring. Now I need to get to his office and I can never remember how to get there. It's really annoying. So, you know what, this is going to be a short one, but I'm just going to leave you here and come back for our next segment in a few minutes. So, once again, thanks you all. 
thanks you all. Thank you all for watching, and show some like by hitting that button. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you?